Hey, what's up, guys? This is Mark from Spantacular.com. We're about halfway through the year, so we decided to do a best of the best recap at this point in the year so far. Today, we're going to be taking a look at console games and what we feel is the best console game at this point in the year so far. So with that said, uh, what is our pick? Red Dead Redemption. This game pretty much has everything that we feel a great game should have. It's got great level design, uh, solid voice acting, stories excellent, the multiplayer is solid, and it's just really, really fun to play. Um, unlike a lot of other games that have linear paths lately, this game lets you play it your way. And typical Rockstar fashion, it's got a sandbox feel. Uh, you can either head down the road of the main story or you can kind of explore and branch out and do uh, challenges and mini games and things like that. So you really get your money's worth out of this one. Um, another great thing to mention is uh, Rockstar did recently release some free DLC for this game. There's a six mission uh, map pack that's uh, co-op and supports two to four players and it's completely free of charge and you know when a lot of people have been paying a lot of money for DLC um, you know that's that's something we really applaud here so um, with that said there's a couple things that we do a um, couple minor things that we gripe about here uh, when it comes to this game uh, one as you probably heard in previous reviews the controls are somewhat clunky at times but we didn't say perfect game we said best game so far so we overlooked that uh, another thing is uh, there's not really a way to exit gameplay when you save there's not a return to main menu that's what we're really trying to say there um, you save your progress and you either go back to the XMB or the Xbox dashboard whichever version of the game you're playing and um, those two are only real gripes uh, the game is really well polished it's well put together it's fun it's got its funny moments its exciting moments and they did a really good job. So that's our take for Game of the Year at this point. Uh, we may or may not be right, but uh, we'll see where we're at six months from now. So if you have any comments or thoughts, or you agree or disagree, uh, feel free to comment. And uh, thanks for stopping by.